In this video, we will understand the concept of BCD to access the code converter. It is a circuit which can convert a given BCD number into access the number. Now, what is BCD? BCD, as we know, binary coded decimal. It is 4-bit representation, 4-bit binary representation of a decimal digit. 4-bit binary representation, 4-bit binary representation of decimal digits from 0 to 9. That's why I have the term BCD. CD equivalent of 0 to 9 digits, 0 to 9 digits. This is BCD equivalent of these digits. So what about numbers greater than 9? That is 2 digit or 3 digit numbers. How can we represent them in BCD? So as we all know that uh, only uh, digits from decimal digits from 0 to 9 can be represented in 4 bit BCD equivalent. For example, I want to represent 12 in BCD. So how can I represent this 12 in BCD? First of all, I will write the BCD equivalent of 1. What is BCD equivalent of 1? It is 0, 0, 0, 1. Now what is BCD equivalent of 2? It is 0, 0, 1, 0. So numbers greater than 9 can be represented like this. Now what is access 3 code? Access 3 is an unweighted reflected code which is obtained just by adding 3 to given BCD number. So if I want to obtain access 3 equivalent of 0, so I can just add 3 to this 0, so which will be 3. So 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 3 will be 3. So it will be 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now if I want to obtain access 3 equivalent of 1, so I have to add this 3, I have to add 3 to this 1. So it will be 1 plus 3 is equals to what? 1 plus 3 is 4. So I write code of 4. So 0, 1, 0, 0. Now to obtain access the code for other numbers, I can simply increment these numbers. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 plus 1 is equals to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 and last 1 1 0 0 so this is access 3 code from 0 to 9 and this is bcd code from 0 to 9 now we have to design a circuit which can convert a given bcd number to access 3 number so these are our inputs and these are our outputs so how many inputs are there a b c d there will be four input lines and there will be four output lines as well so w x y z are our output lines and A, B, C, D will be our input line. Now to design the circuit, we obviously need output functions so that we can draw circuit equivalent to that functions. Now what are the outputs? Our outputs are W, X, Y and Z. There are four outputs. W depends on A, B, C, D. X also depends on A, B, C, D. That is they depend on the value of A, B, C, D. We can see X is 1 when A, B, C, D. Value of A, B, C, D is this. A is 0, B is 0, C is 0 and D is 0. Uh, also, when is x1? When a value of ABCD is this. A is 0, B is 0, C is 1 and D is 0. So, we can see that these outputs depends on the value of inputs. So, for obtaining the minimized boolean output functions, we need to draw K maps for these outputs. Okay. Now, W depends. All these outputs depends on these four values, on these four input values. Okay. So, we need to draw four variable K maps. So, I should draw four variable k maps for each of these four outputs now these are the four k maps for four outputs w x y and z because there are four outputs so we need four k maps so we can obtain four output functions for minimized output boolean functions now what is this x doing here in these k maps why did i write x here x represent don't care what does x represent as you all know in k map x represents don't care condition so why did i write x X here. So as I told you earlier that in BCD only numbers from decimal digits from 0 to 9 can be represented in 4 bit BCD form. Okay. But when we take 4 inputs there are 16 possible combinations. That's why in 4 variable K map also there are 0 to 15. There are total 16 blocks. But we know that only 0 to 9 only these inputs are useful and 10 to 15 these inputs should be ignored. Should be avoided. That's why I have written cross. I have represented these blocks with cross. Don't care. 
Now let's fill these K maps. Let's start with W. When is W1? W is 1 at these points. The here, 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 here and here. Here we get W1. W output as high. When do we get W output as high? Here, 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 here and here. So here we can see that value of A, B, C and D is what? Value of A is 0, B is 1, C is 0 and D is 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. At 0, 1, 0, 1 we get at w as high w as 1 0 1 0 1 now where is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 here we get w as high w as 1 so i write a 1 here now when do i get w as high again here 0 1 1 0 so 0 1 1 0 this is 0 1 1 0 now 0 1 1 1 so 0 1 1 1 here also i get 1 uh, again 1 0 0 0 so 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 uh, 1 0 0 1 so 1 0 0 1 so here i get w as high w output as high now first of all let's fill all of these kmf then we will solve these uh, when is x1 so x is 1 here 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 and here now here we can see value of a b c d is 0 0 0 1 value of a b c d is 0 0 0 1 so here i write a 1 uh, here we can see value of a b c d is 0 0 1 0 so it is 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 so here also i write a 1 uh, here we can see value of a b c d is 0 0 1 1 so it is 0 0 1 1 at 0 0 1 1 x is high. Uh, similarly, I can fill all of these k-maps. According to the table, I have filled all of these k-maps. Now, we just have to simplify these k-maps so as to obtain the final minimized Boolean functions. Okay. So, let's start with w. How can we combine these 1s and x? You know the rules of k-maps. So, I am not wasting time on these. I am just making groups. Uh, so, these 1s can be combined with these x. So, we can make a group of 4. We cannot make the group of 6. We know. We cannot make the group of 6 we can make only groups of power of 2 we can make group of 1 or 2 or 4 or 8 or 16 you know these tools so i'm not wasting time on these tools okay so these two ones can be combined uh, these two ones can be combined with these two x or these two cross so as to make the bigger group we cannot make the group of these six so that's why i have not combined this i have not made this group i have made only group of these four now what what will be our next group? Our next group will be something like this. You know the rules of KMAP. Now these two ones can be combined with all of these crosses so as to make the group of 8. Okay. Now in this KMAP, these two ones can be rolled with this 1 and cross so as to make the group of 4. These two ones can be rolled with these. Okay. Now this 1 and this cross can make a group of 2. Now in Y we can make a group like this. Okay. And here we can make a group like this. Now in S, now in Z, we can do rolling like this. Okay. So this is the grouping of W, X, Y, and Z. Now, now let's write expression for W. What will be the expression for W? We can see that in this bigger group, this bigger group falls in these two rows, in these two rows, and in these two rows, value of A is fixed, which is 1. That's why we write a here but value of b is changing it is 1 and it is 0 here so we just eliminate b now this group this group falls in these four columns and in these four columns value of c as well as d is changing so we eliminate value c and d now in this group we see that this group falls in these two rows and in these two, two rows value of a is changing it is 0 and it is 1 here but value of b is not changing it is fixed it is 1 that's why by adding an all operation we write b here now this group this group falls in these two columns and in these two columns value of c is changing but value of d is not changing it is d it is one that's why i write a d here we add an all operation here and now for this group which group for this group we can see that it falls in these two rows and here also value of a is changing but value of b is not changing it is simply one that's why i write 
write a b here uh, but in these two columns value of c is fixed but value of d is changing so i write a c here okay now let's write expression for x let's start with this group we can see that this group falls under these two rows and in these two rows value of a is changing it is 0 and 1 but value of b is not changing it is simply 1 1 so i write a b here but this group falls only under this column this group falls only under this column and in this column value of c and d is 0 0 for 0 i write complement of c and complement of d c is complement and d is complement individually now for this group this combined group which is obtained by rolling so for this group we can see that value of a is changing but value of b is fixed which is 0 so i write complement of b by adding an or op so I write complement of B and this group falls under these two columns come in these two columns and in these columns value of C is changing but value of D is fixed which is 1 so I write D simply D now add an or operation here now let's write a term for this group which which is again obtained by rolling so for this combined group we can see that this group comes under these two rows and in these two rows value of A is changing but value of b is fixed which is b's complement matlab zero so we write b's complement and in these two columns value of c is fixed so i write simply c because value of c is one now like let's write expression for y what will be the expression for y y is equals to let's write name for this group this is a b and this is c d here we can see that this group comes under these four rows and in these four rows value of a and b both are changing but value of c and d is fixed which is 0 0 so i write c's complement d's complement we add an all operation here now for this group this group again falls under these two columns and these two uh, sorry for in these four rows in these four rows value of a and b both are changing but value of c and d is fixed in this columns which is one so i write c d uh, sorry i should write c complement d complement here now in this let's write expression for z z is equal Equals to what we have obtained a single group by these by this rolling rolling of these fours and these fours we obtain a group of eight here now this combined group comes under these two rows and in these two rows value of a b is changing and what is the value of c and d here in these two columns we can see that value of c is changing but value of d is fixed which is zero that's why i should write here d is complement so these are our output functions we just have to draw circuit diagram for these output functions now these are our four output expressions obtained by solving k maps okay this is for w this is for x this is for y and this is for z w, y was equals to c d uh, c and d or c complement d complement which can be written as c x nor d uh, now let's draw the circuit for w w is equals to a or b c or b d and there is an end operation between b c and b d okay so first of all we need a so this is a then we need b B, C and we want to add an end operation between B and C. We, there is an end operation between B and C. So we should combine these by adding AND gates. So this is B, this is C and they are combined by using AND gates. Similarly, B and D are also combined by using AND gate. But there, here there is an OR operation. So all of these terms can be combined by using OR gate. Okay, so this is the expression for W. Now, uh, x is equals to b complement d so this is b complement and this is d so b complement and d are also ended so this is b complement and this is d b complement c so this is b complement this is b complement and this is c this is c so the, both of these are also ended to obtain b complement c now this is b c complement d so this is b c complement d so this is b this is c complement and this is d this is d uh, sorry this is d's complement this is d so these three are also ended to obtain this expression and these three terms are combined with an OR operation because there is an OR gate. This is OR operation. So, these three are combined by using OR gate to obtain the expression for x. So, this is the gate. This is the expression for x. This is the final expression output for x. Okay. 
Now y is equals to c x nor d, c x nor d. So this is c and this is d. So they are combined by using x nor gate. Okay, this is x nor gate. So this is expression for y. And z is simply is equals to d's complement. So this is d. Okay, this is z. Okay.